Why do women come to see you at MediClinic Airport Road Hospital? Here at MediClinic Airport Road Hospital in Abu Dhabi, we see women with a variety of problems. Heavy periods, fibroids, polycystic ovaries will invariably account for the most common presentations in my outpatient clinic. I also see women with female urinary incontinence, whether it's a stress urinary incontinence or urge urinary incontinence. Seeing women who are struggling to conceive is very beneficial. This will give us an opportunity to treat a curable and reversible conditions, things like fibroids, polycystic ovaries, and endometriosis. So to sum it up for you, please come and see us if you have any functional issues with your pelvic floor, if you're pregnant, or if you're trying to conceive. What do women need to know about period issues? Period issues are very common around the age of menarche, adolescence, and again at around the age of menopause. Most of these issues are physiological and benign. Visiting a gynecologist is very important if you are having excessive bleeding affecting your quality of life, if you are having bleeding in between your periods, or if you are having bleeding after intimate relationship. Seeing a gynecologist may simply entail a physical examination. It may also entail a trans-abdominal ultrasound to visualize your ovaries and your uterus. It's not uncommon for us to send you for a hysteroscopy, a camera test of your uterus, which will be accompanied by a gentle biopsy. The reason why we do these investigations is to rule out the possibilities of endometrial polyps, the small possibility of endometrial hyperplasia, where the lining of the womb is thickened, and God forbid, the possibility of endometrial cancer. What treatment options do you offer to women with heavy periods? The treatment options for heavy periods will pretty much depend on the underlying pathology. Women who have dysfunctional uterine bleeding, i.e. don't have any underlying pathology, will benefit from hormonal and non-hormonal medications. These things could be in the form of tablets, injections, coils, or sometimes implants. Failing that, we may offer endometrial ablation. This is a technique which is minimally invasive, and it also entails a camera test of the birth canal. We usually cauterize the lining of the womb using a radio frequency wave, and you go home on the same afternoon. Endometrial ablation is not for every patient, and there are some women who may want to have a hysterectomy for different reasons. For these women, we advise laparoscopic minimally invasive hysterectomies. We know that hysterectomy is a major surgery, and it should be always kept as a very last resort. Doing hysterectomies laparoscopically will minimize pain, will reduce recovery, and it will allow you to go home earlier. To summarize it for you, the treatment options will depend on your age group, whether you completed your family or not, the underlying pathology, and of course your wishes. We here at MediClinic Airport Road Hospital are very proud that we have all the available options that are available anywhere else in the world. Please can you tell us more about urogynecology? Urogynecology is a subspecialty area in medicine where a doctor like myself has passionate interest in managing functional and anatomical pelvic floor issues. Let's start with the bladder. I see women with functional bladder issues, things like overactive bladder, painful bladder syndrome, recurrent urinary tract infections, and urge urinary incontinence. I also see women with anatomical bladder issues, things like bladder prolapse or stress urinary incontinence. The birth canal is one of the most important pelvic organ. The birth canal undergoes a lot of physiological and anatomical changes, things which will impact on sexual health, quality of life, it will cause some pain, dryness and loss of libido. If you have any of these issues, you will probably benefit from coming and seeing a urogynecologist. The main challenge about urogynecological issues anywhere in the world, but more so in UAE, women are naturally shy to talk about their pelvic floor issues. We don't want women to suffer in silence. We like to empower women to come forward and talk about these problems. Seeing a male gynecologist might feel daunting to you. You will always have a female member of staff with you throughout the consultation. We will put you at ease and we will handle your issues very sensitively. 30 to 40% of women suffer from urinary incontinence and prolapse all around the world. We would like women 
in UAE to have same access to care and the treatment options as any part of the world. How do you treat urinary incontinence? Women will be offered conservative management first. This will obviously depend on the type of incontinence, but generally speaking, will probably entail medications to stabilize the bladder, a course of pelvic floor muscle treatment, and sometimes some small devices that we advise to be inserted into the birth canal to support the bladder neck. Failing this, we may offer you one of four surgical treatments. The first one is very minimally invasive and it entails a simple injection into the bladder neck as a day case procedure. Alternatively, we may advise a slingy procedure, which can be either made out of a synthetic material called mesh or it could be made out of your own tissue. These are slightly more invasive, however, they are more effective. The last procedure would be a colposuspension, suspension, where we lift the bladder neck into a very strong ligament in your pelvis called Cooper's ligament. This could be done either by an open technique or laparoscopically. In summary, I offer all the treatment options recommended by NICE guidelines and the Royal College of Obstetrician and Gynecologist guidelines. Doctor, why did you choose to work at MediClinic? The reason why I chose MediClinic Hospital to work with is the fact that multidisciplinary working is supported here and in fact encouraged. Women here are supported throughout their journey and they are listened to. Whatever we do here is usually evidence-based, multidisciplinary and women's focused. Thank you, Dr. Amir, for sharing your knowledge with us.